Okay, so uh, another video of uh, the Hoover Hive. I just assembled this whole thing. I took video of all of it going together. Um, it went together kind of a little crappy, but it is what it is. I took some of the extra wax that I shaved out of the out of the dovetails to get it together. I try I tried to upload the video and edit it and stuff, but some reason my computer won't allow me to do so but um uh the slight spacing here the queen excluder is in there but on the edge there's slight spacing still even with the queen excluder there or when it's not there like you can see it But um, I had a lot of cracking trying to put these together. It was a tough time. Um, but I kind of took some of the extra wax and I rubbed it in between the things. I bought another another uh, box just to use as like a funnel or a feeder. And then eventually I can use it for other things. It's just a jacket and a hood. Uh, some extra gloves. I got a whole bucket set up with all my stuff. But, so as you can see, actually these, these look really good compared to what I got last time. Hold on, let me get you in focus here. These dovetails look really good. Like, let's see what we got. So it's just an extra box. So stuff like that it was really bad on the other one and it was really hard maybe it was just the time that i i bought it because they probably had a lot of sales going on i had a lot of that on every dovetail and i had to go back and scrape it all out i had a lot of like stuff like that and when i was trying to put them together it caused all the boxes to crack you know tried getting pictures of it to send it to them they said the best that i could do is probably resend it back to them and then uh they would send me new ones out but but yeah i tried to take a whole new video of uh the assembly and um i wasn't able to edit it or anything because for some reason my computer won't allow me to upload anything or i don't know if it's my phone i gotta figure that out so but for now i can kind of just show you what it looks like unfortunately i really wanted to show you the assembly i had some nice clips of uh putting it all together um like here like this almost broke completely off of it But it is what it is, I guess. I took a bunch of the excess wax and I kind of pushed it into the thing. And then when I get more wax, maybe I'll, or my own wax, I'll kind of be able to try to smooth it out a little better. But for now, it's, it's a beehive. It'll do its job. And then, uh, I got this third box just so I can use it for put my um, sugar water and stuff, bee patty or whatever inside there. And then I can set one of these to the side for now and I'll have it if I need it, you know. Or I can start another colony off of it. Um, here's another crack. Started splitting open. I had to put the nail down lower so it kind of sandwich it better. But all in all it's still a pretty good box it was just really tough to put it together i beat the crap out of it but it is what it is so i just wanted to show you guys that and give you a little update because i said i was gonna do a full video of assembly and stuff like that like big crack in it but 
Hopefully that won't catch anything. But, yeah. So, I'll put this one together. And maybe I can show you a little bit of it. But I gotta, I gotta stay under like 10 minutes. If not, I can't upload a video right now. So for now, I'll do like quick little 10 minute videos. And um, maybe I'll cover some other things in the garden too. Uh, take a walk out there. Don't mind my garage, it's a mess. Uh, I've been stacking stuff in here over the winter. But I got all this mulch and stuff like that. I'm spreading uh, stuff I've been making garden boxes out of. Chickens. And I started laying out some uh, cardboard, putting new mulch down because I got all this wild onion and wild uh, garlic. Uh, as far as the stand, I said I was going to show you the whole stand. I had a nice video for that too, but um, I, like I said, I wasn't able to get all that in video. I made a nice cement pad for it. Nice big cement pad, so I'll be able to work the hives in the box. It's a little bit of shade here now, but it's late in the evening. It's probably like 4, 4.30 or something. Um, it gets mostly sun all morning until late evening. And then it uh, starts going down. Well, these trees start covering it for the most part. There's a bunch of trees here. But I have... Uh, the thread rod put in place is slightly pitched forward but it's level from end to end and then uh, I got to put the PVC in and then uh, I slid the rods down into the PVC I poured a bunch of mortar into there and now it makes like a little cup so I can put like oil in there if I have problems with ants or something but yeah so it'd be nice and easy it kind of, I should have went thicker with the threaded rod as being cheap. So there is, and I, it's hard to see because I'm shaking the camera, but there's slight movement to it, but I can stand on this thing pretty solid. They won't go anywhere. I don't know if you can see that slight movement, but for the winter, I'll put some anchor points in the actual concrete and I'll be able to strap the hives down all right uh oh here's the garden boxes you gotta rearrange some over here i want to do turn this one the other way and do another one in the middle um so yeah here's my issue with the onion grass it's so bad it's so bad but it's even coming up through the boxes too so yeah Come. and that's like a good 16 inches of dirt plus the foot that it's probably under in the actual ground so if you have any tips on like getting rid of this naturally besides digging it up and covering it with cardboard and mulch uh i'm willing to take them but until the next video uh yeah until the next video peace out see you later